are making it. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Trey has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is barry <laughs> you've been ill for weeks uh, i hate to have been a burden see he's a civilized fella i for a clumsy deckhand probably fell off his ship half drunk Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here. Try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Put your nose in other people's 
people's business ain't nice! You picked the wrong side! What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
That will help with smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. What I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm 